Hello there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. This is the biggest launch of the year. The Yamaha R3 looks absolutely super stealthy in all black. And uh, quickly giving you an overview today, I'm here at BIC and it's an absolute honor to be able to ride this across the nation's best, finest track. And uh, the R3 I've owned earlier, it is one of the best 300cc uh, parallel twins that you can get in the market and uh, now for the year 2024 uh, or ending the 2023 year with a bang you can say 321 cc parallel twin 42 ps 29.6 newton meters six speed gearbox and uh, the engine is absolutely butter smooth it's like pure driving pleasure the more you ride it the more you fall in love it is uh, a high revving engine the more you rev it the more it feels at ease the more it feels uh, you know at home so for me the best part is the styling initial impressions when you first look at the bike you might think that it is kind of a little sedate but the more you look at it the more you fall in love the design is something that grows on you with time the air channeling the aerodynamics are perfectly sorted on this motorcycle and look at it in black it looks absolutely stellar I mean I am in love with it I am so tempted to buy one for myself all over again but anyway you are taking care of you know braking duties you have uh, dual discs and you have dual channel abs but that's about it there's no strings attached no traction control no slipper clutch no electronic aids it's pure motorcycling for you like where the rider is in control the rider enjoys the beastly character of the motorcycle the monstrosity that lies within and being able to tame the animal that li lurking underneath the uh, hood and in terms of styling you get led lighting all around LED headlamps uh, look really good in black then you have LED turn blinkers the tires are another important thing you get Dunlop tires Sport Max I really wish we had offer, uh, gotten Metzellers because uh, the chassis is so capable the power plant is so capable that it begs to be pushed harder and for that I think Metzellers would have done justice because I've owned an R3 with Metzellers and uh, now the Dunlop does the job for you but Metzellers would have been a better option also you get a 14 litre tank which offers better range you have one of the shortest seat that you can, in this segment you get a seat height of just 780 mm i mean you sit into the motorcycle far more in control especially average height riders like me who's just around five feet six inches so you can flat foot and you have more control the steering geometry is not too aggressive i mean the seating posture the ergonomics are not too aggressive too committed uh, you can actually do sport touring on this bike and the way the triple clamp is laid out it screams quality and it is being brought into our market Indian market via the CBU route which means it's a completely built unit and uh, it's going to be slightly expensive we're going to wait just a few more hours for the price to be revealed it will be mentioned in the description portion once it's updated but for now I feel it is a stellar proposition in every aspect again a major inclusion is the usd folks 37 mm usd folks make a world of difference and every time you you know turn in and out of a corner the line is maintained by the bike flawlessly and that comes courtesy of the usd folks it feels far more confidence uh, inspiring it feels far more planted while entering and exiting a corner when compared to the previous one now the areas of improvement well i felt the brakes on the mt could have been slightly better on this it was kind of okay maybe because these are new bikes maybe the brake pads need to bleed in uh, and uh, bedding in needs to be done but we never know uh, overall once you are in the form once you're in the mid-range once you get going and ring the throttle wide open and the beast comes alive there's no stopping you i mean it is absolutely wild and at the same time very composed very refined and uh, very confidence inspiring to allow you to tap into the full potential of the motorcycle uh, the way it has been built another thing best part is the exhaust note i mean it sounds really really satisfying even with the stock exhaust you don't really need an aftermarket exhaust so that is something you need to understand in terms of switch gear you can see that you have the starter uh, button and uh, uh, engine kill switch being integrated you also have a hazard light switch which is a good inclusion for those who would like to tour on this bike the dash is an LCD unit let me quickly give you guys the exhaust note this is the dash of the R3 pretty plain Jane uh, LCD backlit display there's no color TFT you have the rev counter the gear position indicator the speedometer the clock the coolant temperature the engine uh, fuel gauge 
odometer and other relevant information so let's just quickly fire her up and let's see how the engine roars So the, there's not too much of uh, over the top uh, things happening here. That's what uh, they've kept the formula simple. They've kept it straight and kept it pure. And uh, that is what motorcycling stands up for at the end of it all. It's the rider and the machine becoming one unstoppable force and enjoying a ride out. So this concludes an overview of the motorcycle. Uh, what do you think? Which color appeals to you the most? Feel free to comment below. Next is coming up. The next coming up is the track footage and my ride impression as to how it feels in real world conditions to ride. Okay, now talking about how does the R3 feel to ride. First of all, uh, give me a quick overview of the engine. 321cc parallel twin uh, liquid cooled engine that puts out 42 PS of max power and 29.6 Newton meters of max torque comes mated to a six speed gearbox. Uh, yes, we don't get a slipper clutch. That is something you don't get traction control. You don't get quick shifter. So these are the main points you need to note uh, despite the heavy price tag that it carries. So how does it feel to write? Well, I was looking for a reference point just to make you understand how the R3 stand out from the rest. So you know that uh, a pair of Air Jordans, uh, the shoes, basketball shoes, uh, very exclusive, very premium. Uh, you know, those don't come cheap. So those are super expensive, but they justify their price tag by offering something special, something extra, something extraordinary. So the R3, though it may not be something that stands out on the spec sheet or in the feature list it has a persona of its own that makes it stand out so that you will feel only when you start riding the motorcycle uh, when you start it's a matter of you know heart taking over the mind because the mind tells you that doesn't make sense that uh, a motorcycle 300 uh, you know 300 cc parallel twin uh, costing so much <coughs> The mind tells you, well, you have better options out there. But the heart, when you ride it, it literally, uh, you know, steals your heart. Because every time you ride it, it uh, makes you, you know, feel joy and happiness and uh, puts a smile on your face. And that is the R3 for you. Yes, I am not trying to justify the heavy price tag, but I am trying to give you an idea as to how you can... Uh, you get a glimpse of the character that's lurking underneath and uh, that is what makes it special yes the expensive price tag is because of this being a cbu and it's coming from indonesia and being an indonesian uh, uh, import uh, the import duties are quite high so as a result uh, yamaha might still uh, be selling it at a loss despite this price tag which they have quoted so for us yes it's on the expensive side but the riding ergonomics is so versatile i mean you can ride it to your office you can ride it for with your friends for a weekend ride you can ride to a cafeteria you can uh, go touring on this you can have a blast on a track day like this so that is what makes it stand out and that is what makes it usable and usable power and uh, if you're looking for one bike which does it all for you without having to empty your pockets because later class machines are not uh, uh, everyone's cup of tea because the kind of budget it demands kind of attention it demands and uh, the kind of uh, pampering it demands uh, it, it requires you to devote a lot of time to keep it in a pristine condition whereas the r3 is like a do-it-all machine for you and still carries that premium feel for you so that is how it comes across and that is what i wanted to uh, you know send that point across to you guys but apart from that i agree 100 percent that the price is on the higher side and you have uh, uh, options that make better sense uh, of a better value <coughs> but give it a shot um, visit your nearest yamaha dealer if there is a test ride vehicle please do test ride it and i'm sure it will captivate your heart so thanks for watching this is just a quick fire overview and a ride impression of the r3 i still love the r3 the way it rides especially the new one but the usd folks make a world of difference i mean the braking is okay the tires could be better they should they should have offered medzellers for this kind of pricing and uh, the usd folks are something a value addition a perfect complement <coughs> to this 
No, it's like Ravi Basru's background score to KGF. Uh, that's you can't imagine this bike without the USD forks because it is uh, complete because of the USD forks. It helps you, you know, gain so much confidence while. Uh, tackling a corner because of these because the racing line uh, through the corner can be maintained flawlessly because of the USD forks though they are just 37 mm forks they do their job judiciously the exhaust is another thing uh, you don't really have to change the exhaust for an aftermarket slip on because it sounds so so damn good almost like a cross plane uh, sound so that gives you another uh, I mean, some more satisfaction uh, for dishing out your hard-earned money. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. God bless and ride safe.